everybody and how are you? I trust that you are well. Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate you and may God continue to bless you. The more we share the messages that I that are on this channel, the more the channel is going to grow. And I, I, I need you to help me to deliver this message because the messages I share they are not from me. They are what has been placed in my heart. They are the convictions of the Holy Spirit. And I thank him for, for using me to, to share his word, to share some of the revelations that he, that he gives me. And I feel very honored and I feel very blessed that I, that I am now being obedient to his instructions. I'm now being obedient because previously I never took this seriously and I would procrastinate. So the time is now and this is the time that I share the messages and this is the time that you also share these messages as well. So this is what I wanna quickly share to share with you. Some time ago, it was put in my spirit, actually, um, I think about five years ago, if I'm not mistaken, it was put in my spirit that God is raising women intercessors and that I must work with women to pray together and to worship together, to fellowship together, to fast together. I established a WhatsApp group. I invited um, people who were on my on my contact uh, on, in my in my contact list and that is what we did for a year and after a year i i stopped i really don't know i really don't know what made me to stop because i was not supposed to stop but i stopped then that yearning came up again it came it was so strong particularly this year, up until I, I took that decision of, of starting it. And I invited people as well to come and join me in prayer because God, like I said, God is raising up women intercessors. God is raising up prayer warriors. God is raising up women who are willing to intercede and stand in the gap for others. God is raising phenomenal women, women of substance, women of valor, women who have a passion of seeing this world being transformed through prayer. We can only change our surroundings through prayer. There's power in prayer. There's power in, in praying for others and interceding for others. So this is what I have been commissioned to do with my fellow women. And the instructions were, were very simple. And the, in, the instruction was, we're going to pray every, every night from nine o'clock to half past nine. That is the minimum time that this covenant prayer is going to last for. But if you feel that you can you can exceed the 30 minutes by all means do so do as the spirit leads you so those were the instructions the first one the other instruction was that we should we should consecrate ourselves before we can even pray before we can intercede on 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 praying for the instructions that we are given to pray for, we need to consecrate ourselves because this has got to do with us. We need to repent and this we do daily. We don't just repent when you think, oh, you know what, maybe I, I have sinned. No, every day we repent. Every day we ask the Holy Spirit to wash us. We ask him to cleanse us. We ask him to detoxify us so that we can worship him in spirit and in truth. We ask for forgiveness. We ask for repentance, consecration, consecration every day, 
every day and every day and every day. That is what we do. That is the purpose of, of what we're doing right now as women. And I want to encourage you to, to join us. I want you to encourage you to be part of this movement because we are called to intercede for nations. Imagine you were given an, inv an invite, you were given an invitation to become part of a prayer group and you rejected that, you rejected it. The word of God says that we pray without ceasing. The word of God says we must pray for each other. And this time around, God is saying, don't focus on yourself. Don't focus on your own needs, but pray for others. Pray for others without ceasing. God has already given you intercessors who are going to pray for your own situation. This time around, don't be... Don't focus on, on what you're going through because God has already taken care of it. You know, sometimes we become so selfish that whatever we think about is based on our own needs. But God is saying, this time I want, I want you to, I want you to kill your I want to kill your flesh. I want to nullify your flesh. And I want you to think of other people before you think of yourself. That is the commission. That is our commission. So can you imagine, God has given you an assignment to pray for others and you don't want to do it. Imagine not taking up God's assignment. With your prayer, you could have prevented killings. You could have prevented famine. You could have prevented anything. You know, the world is full of of wickedness with your prayer you could have prevented that you could have helped someone get a job you could have helped someone progress in life but you said no it is it is one of those you know it is one of those uh, uh, prayers that uh, uh, or movements that really don't matter take action do it now God is speaking and he is so audible. If someone has invited you to join in a prayer meeting, my brother and my sister, do it. You know, we've got this tendency of, uh, of reacting to messages like on, on, you know, liking or yeah, with emojis and stuff. No, don't do that. Say, count me in. I am going to be part. I am going to join. Utter those words. Be intentional with your, with, with what you're going to do it. With what you're going to do. And be faithful. Be committed. Because this is, this is not just, this is not just a thing. This is, th these are instructions that are coming from God. And he is using me and you to carry up and to push through with his work and what i want to say is covenant prayers work there is power in prayer the, the word of god says where two or three are gathered in his name he is in their midst and when we pray our prayers they penetrate our prayers push through whole heavens become opened and he answers don't wait for the last moment. Don't wait and say, I wish I had taken that opportunity to pray. Do it now. Do it now. The time is now. The time is now. Don't waste any more time. Let us pray for each other. Let us pray for the world. Let us pray for change. Let us pray for transformation. Let us pray for restoration. Let us pray for peace. Whatever that God has laid it upon your heart pray as a group pray as a group there is power in covenant prayer god will fight your battles you're going to come up with amazing testimonies of 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 what you're doing you're going to see whatever challenges that you're facing through god is going to he's going to take care of those things i'm not saying this without 
without evidence, without evidence. I am a living testimony of that. The challenges that I've, that I've, that I've gone through, God is fighting them for me. He has fought my battles. And because of that, I know that I'm victorious in his name. I know that I'm victorious in his name. So my brothers and my sisters, fellow brethren, let us do this. We are a body of Christ. Let us work together. Let us pray together. Let us become watchmen of this world. This world needs prayers and we can win this battle with prayer going down on our knees and 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 casting our our cares unto him, our burdens unto him and say, Lord, you know, may your will be done in our lives. Whatever we bind on earth is being bound in heaven. Whatever we lose here is being loosened up in heaven. Let us do this and do it knowing that whatever we have prayed for, it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.